at the home I work in we support four adults on the autistic spectrum so they're very unique individual care plans tailored to suit their individual needs and they also present with challenging behaviour at times and it's generally when they're anxious so we have traffic light systems in place which actually show what the clients are like on a normal day then we have triggers so things that make them anxious then we have things in place that we would support them with to try and distract them from their anxieties and get everything back to baseline as quickly as possible. Yeah, and we have a range of people with, with different challenging behaviours as well, so we need to think about how those group dynamics work and how we mix people up together and which sort of tasks they're, they're good at and they like to do and, and try and keep them going. The lady that we saw uh, me working with this morning, Lynn, uh, leading, leading the pony out, she's great and she's non-verbal, but she really communicates, you know, and um, that's another thing that I've really learned from being here is that if people can't particularly speak in the way in which you normally expect somebody to speak, you can still definitely get communication from them. And, and Lynn really communicates through her actions and, and the noises that she makes. And it was really nice to work with her and, and understand how she likes to do things. So leading, being between her and the pony when she's leading out still allows her to have that connection with the ponies and to, to get close to a big animal and to, to do some work, you know, and to be part of something.